something happening in my ear. old 
on my fourth heart, or fifth heart, you know, six body. So I'll be jogging around and jumping around and all excited. I do wonder if I could imagine if you could choose your own body. So I'll have a different body now. And you could choose that body for a day and then go back to your you know your original body. How cool would that be? But I reckon there's a big type of body you'd choose if it was for a day or if it was permanent but that's probably for the uh, <laughs> let me bore you to sleep recordings it's probably not valid for this it just came into my mind what kind of body a body that falls asleep easily would be nice and you know what with NLP neuro linguistic programming uh, hypnosis and all that stuff there is a technique which involves stepping in to another person in your mind but you might physically do it as well I don't mean physically uh, into their body I mean physically step forward into uh, like it, it might be an imaginary circle or it could be a square it doesn't always have to be a circle it could be a triangle it could just be a rough outline it doesn't have to be a circle so you could step forward imagine you're stepping into somebody who you feel is extremely uh, confident and falling asleep someone that you know can just fall asleep watching television in a room full of people I used to know someone like that and In fact, he used to fall asleep with his eyes open, which was uh, quite an unusual superpower. So some people can fall asleep. My dad can fall asleep. His trigger is just turning the television on. As soon as he sits down in his chair, the television goes on and he's off. He falls asleep. So, this idea of stepping into that person and just taking on that attribute that they have, that ability they possess within them and then step out again and it's as if you borrowed a skill that that person has but it doesn't have to be another person it can be you because there's always been times in the past when we were able to sleep easily it might have been a long time ago for you I don't know but at some point whether when we were a baby when we were maybe even in the womb not the room the womb the, the baby's room the womb inside the body that room and 
sleep. And that's the only thing that we're awakening, just the ability to sleep. And it may seem like an unusual wording. I realize as I said it, you're awakening sleep. Saying to the sleep, wake up. I need you to help me to sleep. And I know that some people are listening to this right now just by listening to my voice. You just drift off asleep naturally and easily and the more the more you listen the more of these recordings you absorb and listen to the more decent sleep you will get the more you listen to me better your sleep, the quality and the quantity of your sleep will increase and you will feel more alert, awake and energetic when you're not asleep. That grogginess is there, but suddenly the water starts to change colour and it's, it's clear water again. That's my analogy. Waking up is very much like flushing a toilet. You won't get that anywhere else. I'm the only place you'll get this stuff. You're very lucky. So, awakening that sleep part of you, which is part of you, and it's always been part of you and will continue to be part of you forever. You will have the ability to sleep deeply. And in the same way as stepping inside somebody that you admire and experiencing some of those uh, positive, useful traits that they have, such as being able to sleep or just absorbing that reawakening of that ability to sleep that's always been within you the first second that you existed, even inside the womb, as soon as you were able physically to sleep, that's what you did. Not all the time, obviously, because when you were 
is in the tummy you, you used to move around move your arms, move your legs and then other times you'd just be asleep you'd sleep like a baby with you the same way as your heart has stayed with you your brain has stayed with you your skull your bones all those parts of your body have stayed with you throughout your journeys in life sleeping has also stayed with you and so much of the benefits of sleeping can be gained by just lying down and really not caring sleep or don't sleep doesn't matter in that moment you need to allow it not to matter because that reduces the stress because you can't force yourself to go to sleep in the same way you can't force yourself to feel relaxed you can't force yourself to love you can't force yourself to enjoy eating food a specific bit of food that you don't like like marmite or peanut butter or caviar or I'm trying to think of a disgusting food but you know that you get the point some parts of the world think that it's weird but they think that pineapple should never be allowed on the top of a pizza now sweet corn and pineapple is my favourite pizza always has been since I was very young pineapple and sweet corn love it Absolutely love it. And that taste of loving sweet corn and pineapple pizzas in the same way kind of travels with me. Just like the ability to sleep. travels with you throughout your life and that's quite a it's a gift really in some ways but in other ways it can be a good idea make such a big deal about sleeping because it's as natural as farting sleeping is as natural as farting it's just something that we do it's something that we have to do some people may say well I don't fart Technically, you do. You just might not be aware of when you do it. They might all build up and you might just fart when you're asleep. 
So yeah, you do fart. We all fart. It's natural. So is sleeping. Just drifting off to sleep is as natural as farting. That's a really good title. I wish that I'd uh, made a recording. He just done that. I should have done that. And not called this a whisper session, just a, a whisk, deep, whisk, you know, deep sleep whisper. Just called it the title was Sleeping. It's the same as farting. The point is, it's a natural phenomenon. and farts sleeping it can feel like a big deal when you need it but the reality is it's the most simple thing not a big deal. It's not even interesting when it's happening. It's something that your body and mind will force eventually because eventually you will fall asleep whether you want to or not. your body needs that your brain needs that now the idea of this and what I've said is to take that strain off of you to allow you just to relax into it and not to care anymore about whether you'll sleep tonight or how long it will take to fall asleep to not care to really not care at all to give it no thought just when it's time for bed lie down your head will touch that pillow that magical pillow that sends you to sleep anyway and there's no thoughts needed at all you just let the process occur in fact, you can enjoy resting with your eyes closed. Because that's what you're doing. You're resting with your eyes closed. You're just resting your body. And your eyes are closed. That is all. your job is, it's all there is for you to do, you just rest, lying down with your head touching your pillow, which is always a, a trigger to fall asleep, and you just rest in there with your eyes
eyes closed and that's it you're resting and it feels nice it feels comfortable and it feels right you don't have to do anything you don't have to be anywhere to think about sleeping in the same way when you're on a ship as a passenger on a ship you don't have to think about steering the boat or the ship you don't have to think about the weather you don't have to think about how much diesel or petrol is in the tank you don't have to think about docking you don't have to think about the other passengers 